On this episode of the Free Pilot Training Channel, we're going to be discussing the different types of airspace. This is a really important subject for pilots to learn because we need to know the different rules, weather minimums, and equipment requirements for the, each type of airspace. We have different types of airspace to keep aircraft separated and to keep us from hitting each other. There are four basic types of airspace, controlled, uncontrolled, special use, and other. In this lesson, we're gonna focus on controlled and uncontrolled airspace, but we are gonna discuss those other two in a future lesson, so be sure and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on that. Let's take a look at the six classes of airspace you need to be familiar with. We've got Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, and Golf. By the way, unless you've already done so, you will need to memorize the phonetic alphabet. Don't worry about the numbers or the Morse code there, but try to memorize this as soon as possible. Like I said, we have six classes, but we have two types, controlled and uncontrolled. Classes A through E are controlled airspace. This means we can receive radar services from ATC, and if we're receiving those services, we're under radar control. Now we will use these services too, but it's specifically designed to keep people who are flying on instruments safe. Class G airspace is uncontrolled airspace. You can remember this by thinking G for government free. Aircraft in Class G airspace are typically not under radar control. Now let's take a quick look at each one of these. First, let's take a look at Class Alpha airspace. That's this red area here. We're not gonna spend too much time talking about this one because you need to be on an IFR clearance to be up here, among other things. But you do need to know that Class Alpha airspace goes from 18,000 MSL to flight level 600. That's a pressure altitude of 60,000 feet. By the way, you heard me correctly, this is 18,000, not 18,000. From now on, when it comes to altitudes of 10,000 feet and above, we need to enunciate them this way. For example, instead of 10,000, we should say 10,000. This is 11,000, 12,000, 13,000, and so on. We don't ever want there to be confusion at which altitude ATC wants us at. If you're wanting a good way to remember Class A airspace, remember A is for above. This airspace is above where we can go as VFR pilots. Now let's take a look at Class Bravo airspace, which here is depicted as this yellow upside down wedding cake. Class Bravo airspace is really busy airspace. You'll see this around really big airports like Dallas-Fort Worth and Chicago O'Hare. A good way to remember this is that B stands for busy. Class Bravo airspace starts at the surface and typically goes up to 10,000 feet AGL. In the next lesson, we're gonna really dive into the details on Class Bravo airspace. But for now, just remember that we need to be specifically cleared by ATC to go in there. Class Charlie airspace is crowded, but not as busy as Class Bravo. It's also shaped like an upside down wedding cake. It is smaller though, and that upper level is typically only 10 miles in diameter. This airspace starts at the surface and goes up to 4,000 feet AGL. Remember, C is for crowded, and we also have to communicate with ATC before we can go in here. Next up, we have Delta airspace. Typically, class Delta airspace is shaped like a cylinder. It's usually five miles in diameter, and it surrounds smaller towered airfields. This airspace starts at the surface and goes up to 2,500 feet AGL. The D here stands for dialogue because we need to talk to their tower before we can go in their airspace. Next, let's look at Class Echo airspace. You can remember this airspace by thinking E is for everywhere else. That's because Class Echo airspace is controlled airspace that's not designated as Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, or Delta. Most of the time, Echo starts at 1,200 AGL and goes up to the bottom of Class Alpha. Sometimes in busier areas, Echo will start at 700 AGL though. Probably the biggest thing new pilots forget is that Class Echo is controlled airspace. Just remember, we can get radar services here, so that makes it controlled airspace. The last type of airspace we're gonna look at today is Class Golf. As I already mentioned, G is for government free because this is uncontrolled airspace. Also remember, G is for ground because typically you see class golf up against the surface. Basically, class golf is everything that's not Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, or Echo. And it's the least restrictive of all the airspace classes. I hope you guys got some really good training today. 
Please hit that like button for me and I'll see you in the next episode.